Hey this is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how to use UNAP daily. But before I begin with the video, subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot. So how to use it daily? Well you have your budgets right over here. So you have your uh, mortgage, your gas and heating, electricity, garbage, like these are all of your bills you have. These are all of your needs. So let's say you went to groceries today and you want to add a transaction you go to transactions uh, let's say twenty dollars you go to groceries you can enter a memo uh, basically like where you where you went add date and then you would just click on done and it would be added wait just a second you click on save and then you can see it is here now if you want to say that since you have uh, since I have $325 to assign money so I spent $100 and I have 325 to, sp to spare I would just come here click $100 done and now basically I have uh, assign the money for the groceries I have spent the money and I know exactly where money is going since you if you go to account go to all transactions you can see all of your transactions that have happened so those are some of the things you could do on a daily basis now you have your wants so for example you budgeted that you need $500 for vacation as you can see I already added 150 then you can be like oh I have extra dollars uh, this month you can add $50 to it so just add plus and then click on done and then you see this has changed so it's the only thing you need to be aware of that that you need to actually use it every single day because it needs to get uh, into a habit of using the app because if it doesn't it's going to be for example let's say three days have passed and you didn't uh, add anything to the app and you're gonna be like oh it's been three days I have to add all of the things then you have to think back to all of the things you didn't add and there's a potential of you not adding something because who knows maybe you forgot about it or <clears throat> lots of things <clears throat> or lots of things can happen so it's much easier to use it on the spot so let's say if you were at gross shopping groceries at the moment and you spend a hundred dollars once you get to a car once you get home or even right immediately after the purchase you open up the phone you enter the expenses and that's how you will get into habit of uh, using the app because as I mentioned if three days go on five days go on 14 days go on you most likely are going to be tired or lazy to add all of the expenses like 14 days ago and your budgeting will go down the rain because you want to use it every single day it needs to become like a habit because if you want to know where expenses are going you unfortunately want to make track of everything now of course you can say for example you are at the groceries and just type yourself a note hundred dollars groceries and that when you get home or whenever you have free time you can be like okay i need to add this hundred dollars to the app and then you add the hundred dollars uh to the app and yeah but some other things like if you go to reflect it's going to show you like your top correct categories you spend money on so you have like groceries a mortgage you have some other like what's your net worth how much you made money basically you can always click on it and understand what is here so how many debt you have how many assets you have you can always click on these things and it's going to uh, give you the total spending now, of course you can go by uh, months 
you can go to uh, preset like last three months 6 12 uh, what whatever and that's it when it comes to this this uh, option here at the top right you can just click on this icon and then you can select what do you want to see and what you don't uh, want to see so like you can click on the category name and it's going to unhide everything or you can select specific things that you don't want that it's included in the uh, in this graph and when it comes to the accounts you can always add accounts if you go to the top right you can add like a linked account or unlinked account and then basically start from there so let's say linked you can always give it a uh, nickname let's give it a nickname nickname select account type you can choose any of it so if you go like savings you can choose how much money you have in there and once you're done you can always click on uh, next and I mean that's that's pretty much it the app always tells you like if you need to correct something if something is wrong like if something needs to be added like there are a lot of things these apps can do so the most important thing is that you get to know it so that it's not a hassle when you potentially need to use it in a hurry because when you use it in the hurry you're most likely going to get frustrated because you don't know where everything is and you're just going to exit the app and fall in the cycle of three days five days seven days and then you did all that initial work for nothing because setting up the app adding all the budgets adding the money adding everything you need to add it takes a lot of time so don't spend hours so that you don't actually use it and that's it thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe if you're still having some issues let me know if there's a problem in the comments down below and i'll do my best to help you out